today is thrifting gift, Lulu. Do you want to show everybody what your thrifted gift is for Mama? What did I thrift for you? Huh? You sit in that chair every day. But yes, <laughs> I have a treat, Lou. Yes, I do. Come sit in your thrifted gift. Come over here. Go ahead. No, sit in your pillow. <gasps> do you dislike it that much? That is your thrift. <laughs> Go in your blanket. Over here. I have one treat left. Okay, Lou, time to start the video. Enjoy. Are we gonna donate your thrifted item? I think we might. Hi everybody and welcome back to the final day of Happy Holidays 2021. I can't believe it's been 10 days. I have just been like filming and editing, it feels like around the clock since December 1st, but it also went by really quickly. And it's been so fun to share somewhat of a different side of me um, and what I do as a reseller here on my channel. Thank you so much for coming along for the ride. Today is a really special episode to me. Um, I feel like this was a little bit of the catalyst to my Happy Holiday series. A few years back, 2019, I guess, was when I started my channel. So that December, I did a thrifting gift, which simply was sharing some of the items I am gifting to my kids for Christmas that have all been thrifted. It's something that I started and continue to do. The kids have really grown to look forward to this gift. It's so nice to me now that receiving or giving a thrifted item is now something special. I feel like there was a time when it was kind of taboo, like you got me a used item, like what? Or the thought of giving somebody something that was previously owned was just like something at least I would have not considered. And now I just feel like it's so great that it's something that's embraced, at least within this community for sure, and a little bit in the outside world as well. And I think it's growing more and more every year. So it really makes me happy. I've shared this story before when I was a little kid. My grandmother used to give us these things called meme boxes. She's French Canadian. So we would get meme boxes and she would just put little trinkets that she would pick up throughout the year. Sometimes it would be food. She used to give us like the lifesavers, the book of lifesavers. Do you remember those? They would open up and you'd get like 10 rolls of lifesavers. And um, my mom carried on the tradition for us and for her grandchildren and her great nieces and nephews. It's like a thing, they get meme boxes until they graduate from high school. And she just puts stuff in that she picks up all year long. She'll call me in December and be like, do you have anything for my meme boxes? Like stuff that Angelina's getting rid of, things that you've bought that you're not selling or whatever. It's always been a big thing in my family. So my thrift and gift boxes are kind of an extension of meme boxes, but they're primarily clothes. For those of you who may be new here, I have three kids, Angelina, Anthony, and Rocco. Anthony's my oldest, so why don't we kick things off and we'll start with Anthony's box. So Anthony's is kind of fun because I have uh, something that I'm gifting it to him in, which is a duffel bag, and it's in like new condition. This is the brand Herschel. Here's the tag. So Jay discovered this brand a few years ago and just bought a basic duffel bag for the gym and he really liked it. And then last year we bought Rocco a new bag for Christmas. He was wanting a duffel bag. So Rocco was the only one of the boys who didn't have one. So I found this when I was out thrifting. The only problem with my thrifting gift is I've been buying these things for a while so I don't really have what I paid for them. And also I just put lip gloss on and I feel like it's on my teeth. So I feel like I'm talking, talking weird. Let's dig into this. Uh, this I just got recently, last week, at a Goodwill. This is a classic bomber jacket. You're also going to see how different my boys are personality-wise with the stuff that I've purchased them. Anthony is very uh, particular, super organized, disciplined, makes the bed every day, everything has a place, and Rocco is like loosey-goosey, chill, room's a mess. <laughs> very different personalities. This is Anthony. He was looking for a bomber jacket because he went to a party and he left, or he went to a bar in Pittsburgh and he left his bomber jacket at the bar. So he asked for one for Christmas, which we did get for him. But then I saw this H&M jacket and I thought it was so cool. This was like $12.99. Anthony's also that kid that you buy him something and he's like, is it a medium? Because I'm a medium. So don't buy me a large, don't buy me a small, I'm a medium. So sometimes I'll see things for Anthony and I'll say, I know this will fit him, but he'll look at the label and be like, nope, that doesn't fit, it's not a medium. So I grabbed this. This I just thought was cool. It is just a hoodie. 
I also got this on a recent trip. This was like five or six dollars at Goodwill and it's Pendleton. It's just a gray hoodie, really nice quality. It says Pendleton Woolen Mills. And I think you'll really like that. Also a medium, just a zip front. It's also very difficult for me to um, buy stuff retail for the kids when I've been doing so well at thrift stores. This I almost gave to Angelina. In fact, I first bought this for Angie because she loves The Outer Banks, the show, the Netflix series. And this I just thought would be like a great t-shirt for her to bang around in and whatnot. But then last year, Anthony actually went to The Outer Banks with a bunch of friends for spring break. So then I was like, well, Anthony's actually been there. So I am going to give this to him. The only problem with this is it's kind of beat up. Like if you look at it close, it's kind of worn. So I don't know if he's gonna love this. It may end up going to Angie. That's the beautiful thing about thrift and gift too, is sometimes the kids will see it and be like, eh, I'm not really into that. And then another kid will say, I like it. And then they toss it across the room and everybody's happy. Oh, this is a really cool one. This is a local thing. It's a festival. It's an outdoor festival. I wanna say it's in Cambridge, but I could be wrong. If anybody's ever been, let me know. But Anthony went several years in a row. It's like outdoor music, food. He loved it and uh, I thought this sweatshirt was so cool. It has like a Boston Terrier. I think that's what that is. And yeah, just cool. It has the outline of Massachusetts and the artwork here. And it's not year specific, which I think is kind of cool because it's just, I think he's gonna love this. And he lives in Pittsburgh. So anytime I can send him a little piece of home, it's great. And it's on a 47 sweatshirt, which this is a brand that I do like to pick up for uh, sports. So anytime, I, I just feel like this 47 brand is high quality. So when I see that out, if, if I have like a choice to make between like two Boston sweatshirts, I'll always go for the 47 because they just do really nice stuff. I just bought this recently. Uh, this was also purchased at a Goodwill. It's new with tag. And what it is, is just an old school photo album, but it's very classic looking, very much in tune with Anthony's style. Um, they're just slip in pockets, but the brand is Panodia. All right, I'm gonna show you the brand. I think it's saying Panodia right here, if you look, but it's made in France. It's a leather book made in France, and I just think it's so cute. The reason I bought this for Anthony is because he has been into 35 millimeter film lately. He thinks it's really cool to develop film. He bought himself a camera. He went through a phase where he was using like disposable cameras and like at all of their parties at college, they would have like disposable cameras on the, the tables and around and then they would develop them and he thought it was so much fun. And so he's been taking his own pictures and actually developing pictures lately, which I think is awesome. I used to really be into photography. So I thought it would be really nice for him to have an actual album. And I just think this is great for his apartment. It's something he can like throw on a table. When his friends come over, they can enjoy pictures. Like we used to enjoy pictures in an album. And just a couple more things for Anthony. I wanna show you the inside of this bag. Most of the Herschel bags are lined. It's like a pinstripe liner in there. Um, and they also have like these little compartments over here, which is why Jay originally got it. Um, there's a section here for like gym clothes. So you can put like your dirty gym clothes here on the side. And Anthony was recently going to like a CrossFit gym that was close to his apartment and he just joined like a more typical gym. So I just thought that that would be good for transit. Um, this was a pair of Patagonia socks, running socks that I picked up. No idea where I grabbed these. I think I may have got these at the garment district. I don't know, maybe the bins. I don't know, but they're really cute. They're just little ankle socks. I hope they're men and not women, but they're merino wool. So I think he'll enjoy those. They're like lightweight merino wool. And then this I recently picked up for him. Uh, Angelina's boyfriend was actually looking for a sports coat to wear to a formal. So I was at Savers and I saw this and it said extra large. And Anthony, as we mentioned, is a medium. So I grabbed it like just quickly because I noticed that it was really nice and it was Brooks Brothers and it was like more of like a modern cut. You know, it wasn't like an old fashioned blazer. I got it home and I realized it was like a, a 38 short or 40 short, which is Anthony's size. And it was so nice. So I couldn't give it to Angie's boyfriend, but I said, this would be great for Anthony. If he ever has like a work event or goes to his girlfriend's formals back on campus or whatnot. So it's just 
something for work. I don't know if he's going to love it, but it was $10 and then 20% off. I do remember that price. That's it for Anthony's gift right now. I'm sure that before Christmas, like I'm filming this on December 10th, there's still 15 days until Christmas. I know I'm gonna add to this. I usually put them in like a giant box and I wrap the box up really pretty and I just wrap all the stuff inside in tissue paper. It's almost like a giant stocking for them because they're just like, they're going through a big box with all sorts of treats inside. And the one thing that I'm trying to make an effort from here until Christmas is to get non-clothing items because as you can imagine in my house, I just have a ton of clothes for my kids. I'm always bringing clothes home for them. And um, I like to do something that isn't clothes. So each one of them has something that's non-clothes, but it's work for me. I usually like to put a book in each one of their um, thrifting gifts. Uh, not that any of them are big readers. Angie probably reads the most of the three. This year, ironically, even though Angie's more of a reader, I found books for Rocco that I will share with you, but let's do Angie next. Angie's pile is kind of light because I swear every time she comes home, she will like raid my stash of things that I have for her and things like disappear. She's also kind of particular. She wears these kind of like cropped tank tops all the time with the built-in sports bra with like leggings. So anytime I see one that is in her size, I will grab it. All right, I'm competing with the sun setting and a uh, low battery. So I'm going to try to be not as long-winded as I typically am. So I just swapped my battery out and I don't know what I was saying. Oh, the sports bras for Angie. I picked up this one too. I really love the color on this. Also, I should mention, None of my kids are really huge into brand names. Like when I'm buying them new things, I try to get them brand names. Like they asked for like a lot of Nike this year and Angie's into Aritzia. Gave her an Aritzia gift card for her birthday, which is like painful to see their online prices. They are so expensive. She's looking at their leather pants. Okay, what is this? Oh, I have to flip this. So this is basically the same sports bra and like a nice dusty blue. I like this. Different brand, purchase them at different times, different stores, but that same style is just something she'll wear. I got her this random little H&M scarf. I love this little black pattern. Um, sometimes she'll just tie, like when she throws her hair up, sometimes she'll just tie it this way or she'll just tie it on top of her head. I don't know, maybe she'll use it, maybe not, it's cute. It's also so low risk when you do these thrifted gifts because if they don't wear them, it's not really a big deal. What is my hair doing here? Oh my gosh, what does this say? Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. <laughs> I sound like such an old person. It's a white claw t-shirt, but the O and the W are coming off. Oh, this is not gonna work. I bought this such a long time ago at the bin. See how that O is lifting in the W? And that might be very cheesy, but I mean, just for banging around, she went through like a white claw phase. Is it wrong that there's so much like alcohol reference with my children? I, I probably should worry. This is just Urban Outfitters. It's a just a little tank. Like I feel like this is, you know, like a little going out shirt that she wear, would wear with some jeans. Oh my gosh, I have so many things in the car that I bought at the bins yesterday. I have to run out and grab those things. Oh gosh, we have a lot more to talk about. This is a big one. This is a Mac Miller t-shirt. I was going to sell this and she happened to be home over Thanksgiving, I think, when I got it and she begged me for it. Mac Miller is from Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. He's from Pennsylvania. He is huge at Penn State. They all love him. This is the swimming tour. And of course I checked comps. I'm like, if this is worth a lot of money, Angie, I don't know, I may have to sell it, but this was kind of average. Uh, and yeah, she's very excited about this. Uh, this is just a marine layer uh, crew neck sweatshirt that I think she will absolutely love. She got a glimpse of this. She's like, oh, don't sell that. Can I have it? All these things she like influenced my decision when she was home for Thanksgiving break. Bath bombs. I'm sure this is from the bins. Angie loves a good bath bomb. So that one is mango. See the non clothing thing. You know, I'm looking at these, these nail bliss. And first of all, I don't know if she wears fake nails. She really doesn't, but I thought these were really cute. And now I'm wondering if I got these like at CVS or if I, I don't even know, I don't know where they came from, but I'm gonna run out to my car because I have a bunch of stuff for Angie from the bins that I just got yesterday and separated them from my challenge with Ryan and Jack and left them in the car. So I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I have all this stuff. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna have to go fast. 
I also got these sunglasses for Angelina. Her boyfriend is from Toronto, so anytime I see anything Canada, I have to grab it for him. Funny. Those are from the bins. Okay, this I just got at the bins yesterday and this whole ensemble I'm obsessed with. This is just a cute little leather bag. She doesn't like really big bags. And the brand is ILI and it says New York, Canada. And it's just really cute. Just very small, basic. Picked that up at the bins yesterday. To go with this little top, which I think is really cute. It's just like ribbed and cropped. And then I got these pants from Target. They're just a new day but they're super cute. They're like ankle length and flat front. So cute. And I bought a bunch of belts yesterday. If you watch yesterday's haul, I bought a ton of belts and I want to grab one of the belts that I bought from that I showed yesterday and include that with this outfit. But isn't this a cute little ensemble? That was all from the bins yesterday. This probably cost like $4 for this whole stack. Love it. I got this little shirt. This is very Angie, just kind of basic like she she likes a lot of plain things but she has branched out a little bit with her pants lately so i hope she likes that out i am just like really feeling the weight of 10 days of filming i wanted this to be like i was in red and the santa claus hat and do like all the hoopla and then i looked at the clock i'm like i have to get this last video up okay i loved these socks at the bins look at these nice tall boot socks it gets really cold and windy in happy valley in pennsylvania these are just so nice i don't know if they're any brand or anything, but I thought they were so cute just to keep her legs warm. I thought this little top was really cute for her. This is just the brand is June in Hudson, like a little boutique brand. How cute is this? So this look I was thinking, it's got like a little ruffle detail. It's so much fun to not have to shop for brand when I'm shopping for my kids. It's so liberating. I love it. Such a cute little tank. And then I got these jeans. So one pair is from Shein, which you guys know I, I hate Shein, but I love getting Shein when I can save it from the landfill. Anytime I can find Shein things and then give them life again. And Angie likes their style. They always have trendy stuff. So these are Shein jeans. They are size small, but these jeans are so cute. I'm hoping they're not too small. Uh, but they're awesome. So they're super high rise. And then look at the leg. I just think they're really cute. They're like slightly tapered with a real high rise with like a little whisker in here. I would say that's like an 11 inch high rise. I think they're so cute. And I think these will look so adorable with this top, right? So cute. Love, love. And she wants Converse um for Christmas too. So I think these will just be adorable. And then the, a lot of these like, um, those jeans and the tank tops that I got at the bins, they were all together. And these jeans were also there too. This brand is Indigo Rain, which I actually see a fair amount when I'm out shopping, but I feel like they're always skinny jeans. But these are like this wide leg with this raw cut. So cute. And these are a 27, which I know is Angie's size. Um, and they're a lighter wash to contrast with those. Jeans are expensive and I just think these are so much fun. I think she's gonna love those. And then this top, she just said she wanted any Red Sox gear, but what she does sometimes is she gets kids stuff and she crops them. So this is just a Dustin Pedroia shirt, Red Sox medium. It's probably like a kid's size 12, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and crop this because I just think she'll like it more if it's cropped right off the bat. She just said she wanted some Boston stuff for school because she's surrounded by, you know, Steelers and Philadelphia fans and everything. So she wanted some Boston stuff. This is another Shein top. This is just like uh, another going out top, I call it. Just like this little tank top and it has this gathering on the side. I want to give her a cardigan to go with all these little tank tops, like to just cover her stuff up. <laughs> Um, but that's really cute. I think this would also be really cute with the jeans and it's very comfy. Then I got her this thing. I got this at the bins too. It just has all this little compartment. 
She wears kind of big earrings like me a lot. If she comes home for breaks, she can just put like a little bit of jewelry in here. There's a pocket. She has a lot of fidget rings because she's fidgety. So she wears those like fidget, those spinny rings, and she can put them like all in here when she travels. These are just really quick things. Two pairs of pants for Jay. I don't know this brand, but it reminds me of like an REI, the American Outdoorsman. Anybody know that? They're in really good condition and they have this little side zip pocket. And I think they were in two separate bins, but they're the exact same size, same brand, but like this charcoal gray and then this color, which I think are great. I think he'll love those. This is super quick, but I mentioned yesterday that my godchild just had a baby. I gave the little Pooh Bear story. I have this beautiful little cable knit one piece from Baby Gap. I got this at the bins, so cute. I showed this, these I got at Savers last week, just that one piece. And then this cute little dress. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. My godchild Brianna's mom used to collect elephants. So her mom was my babysitter. And so when I was a little girl and her mom was like 10 years older than me, she was my babysitter. I used to be fascinated by her little elephant collection. And so I saw this, this, oh gosh, I better get this over to her soon because I don't know, this is three months. It looks really little. And I just got her a little Red Sox onesie because every baby who lives in this area needs Red Sox Patriots gear when they're babies. So that's for the baby. You saw Jay's. I need to talk about Rocco now. So Rocco is my guy who has never cared about clothes. And now he's a senior in high school. And all of a sudden, like, that's what he's asking for. My other two are saying, ease up on the clothes and Rocco saying, I want clothes. He's been wearing the same stuff for years and he's also been like working from home for school. The other kids were at college, they were meeting new people, Anthony got a new job. Rocco's been in his room and so he's grown, <laughs> like it seems like a foot and now he wants clothes. So I had fun shopping for Rocco. Oh, this I actually got for Anthony. Sorry, wrong, wrong bucket because these are things from outside, remember? So I haven't had a chance to put this. This is just GH Bass. And the price tag on this is $78, but it's from TJ Maxx, 1999, new with tag. Got it at the bins. It has this nice soft liner here, and it's just a little quarter button up. That's for Anthony. This is for Rocco. I think this is gonna be a little big on him. He's got a very long torso, but he's very thin. Kavu, this is, I think this is a pretty decent brand. It's an XL. If he tries this on and it's too like wide on him, I'll end up um, selling this. But what Rocco does sometimes with flannels is he will just layer them up and wear it like a jacket and he'll wear like a t-shirt with like a Henley and then this over it. So he may just end up wearing this more like a jacket if it's too big. He'll wear something like this underneath. I just got this for him. This looks like it's inside out, it is. Rocco has like really dark brown eyes. So I love, I love how he looks in brown. And he has like Angie, uh, Rocco and Angelina both have like that olive skin. Anthony's got a lot more lighter skin. This is Eddie Bauer. I mean, these little shirts that cost a buck at the bins and then you go into Eddie Bauer, that would be like $25. This is from The Gap. This is an XL. See, now this didn't look like an XL to me. This is a little short-waisted. I hope that works for him. But again, he likes all these layering things. Nothing exciting because he's kind of, you know, Boys are kind of basic with their stuff. Oh, I thought this was cute because it had a hood. This is Lucky Brand. I feel like this is more of an Anthony color, but I feel like it's a Rocco vibe. So this is also a medium. If something's long enough for Rocco, I can get it, I can get it in a medium. I buy him clothes from like medium to extra large. It really just depends on the fit. He only weighs like 150 pounds, but he's six feet tall, very thin. Um, so that's Lucky Brand. This is a Woolrich. I picked this up the other day. This is really nice. This is a heavy, heavy flannel. So nice. Just super thick. He loves a good flannel. Oh, I got him these Bart Simpson pajamas. He loves to be cozy. So these were new with tag. I've had these for a long time. I probably got these at the bins. They're super silky. They're just Homer Simpson Christmas pants. <laughs> You will love them. Rocco's all about being comfortable. Um, and then I got him this Star Wars. He's big, he's kind of a Star Wars nerd, but this is not the book I was talking about. I have to go grab the book for him. Um, but this is like a Rogue One, um, make your own Ewing. So it's like a puzzle book. So you can, you take the, you open up the plastic and it has like little pop out, like heavy card stock. This is something he'll make on Christmas morning and then he will never go back to it, but got this at the bins. So books at the bins are 20 cents a pound. This is what I think he's gonna love the most, you guys. Homecoming was up in the air whether or not they were gonna have it. 
Uh, it was in October. They were trying to figure out the right venue. The kids still have to wear masks at school. Just events have been complicated, but they finally decided they were gonna have homecoming. I said, what do you need? Do you want like a, a tie, a jacket? What are you wearing? What are the kids wearing? Is it casual, just like shirts and khakis? He pulls up one of those websites. I wish I knew the name of the website, but that had the crazy suits with like pineapples and pinstripes and flamingos. I'm like, Rocco, are you serious? Soup to nuts, like the tie, the jacket and the pants, all with the pineapple print. And this is where my boys are very different. Anthony would, I showed you what I bought Anthony from Brooks Brothers, and this is what I bought Rocco. I ordered this flamingo. I'm like, honestly, Rocco, it's, it's actually even fall. Why don't you get something that's like more fall inspired? He's like, cause I like the flamingo. I paid extra money to have it rush delivered to my house. In total, it came to like $150 for the jacket, the pants and the tie. Plus I paid extra money to have it delivered and it didn't make it in time. And I was just so mad because I didn't want to buy it in the first place because I, I just didn't support it for that price. And so Rocco felt really bad. So he's like, mom, wrap it up and give it to me for Christmas. I promise, uh, maybe I'll wear it to prom. I'm like, please, please do not wear this to prom. You are not wearing this to prom. He goes, I promise I'm gonna wear it. I'm like, you're so weird, but okay. So I wrapped that up for him for Christmas. But then I found this Santa blazer i mean this is basically what he got with flamingos on it but picture matching pants in a tie anyway i saw this and this was like what was this 14 dollars. i paid 14 dollars for this and he's gonna love it i would expect to see rocco in this with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans or khakis for like christmas eve or he'll wear this to school for like a spirit day or something like that guaranteed so i was pretty pumped about this a couple other things to show you i just have to go grab them and then we are gonna wrap this up. I'll be right back. I got this little holiday Budweiser Stein for Anthony. I think it's kind of fun. It's very festive in Christmas. It's got like the Clydesdales. It is from 2003, the holiday Stein. I don't know if these are worth anything. I should look it up. I just thought this was kind of fun for Anthony's apartment. I don't know. Will he even use it? 20 cents per pound at the bin. So that cost about 50 cents. So it's not the end of the world if he doesn't use it. I got these for Rocco. He's upstairs, so I'm trying to be quick about this. These are Nike grips. These are a size 11. Again, I'm not sure if he's gonna want these. I think I paid 12 or $13 for these. 15, $15. And I got these at Goodwill. Rocco just is very hard on his shoes. He like gets one pair of sneakers and he wears, wears it every day, morning, noon, night. So he ends up like going through a lot of sneakers. He ordered some, he wanted some New Balance for Christmas. So we ordered the New Balance, but I just kind of wanted like a backup pair of sneakers as like kind of a beat up pair, but these are in really good condition. But again, just know like anything that the kids don't want, they just hand to me and I list it. So it's pretty low risk. This is actually, these are the books I'm actually very excited about. Uh, Rocco's into manga, which totally caught me off guard. We watched Avatar as a family and we really loved it. Oh, my battery's gonna die. And then he started watching the series One Piece and he really loves One Piece. Um, and now he has been reading this series, Bleach in high school, like when they have like quiet reading time. So the high school library um, picks up the series like on book four or five. So he needed the first three books and they're actually harder to come by than you would think. I've been looking for these for a while. I ended up getting them on eBay for $25. Somebody had these on Poshmark for $85 for these first three. The first three in the series are kind of hard to find. So I sent that, um, I picked those up for Rocco so he can read it during like quiet time at school. So anyways, I am gonna end it here because I'm afraid my battery's gonna run out. You guys, we did it. Happy Holidays 2021 is in the books. Thank you so much for joining me this year for 10 days. I do have a playlist for Happy Holidays. If you're new to my channel, if you're just tuning in for the first time, feel free to check out the playlist and you can watch all 10 videos. I also have 2020s um, playlist in that same playlist. So you can just have a blast with Happy Holidays. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna take a few days off from YouTube. I'll be back next week and I am so excited to end this year strong with you guys and talk about goals for the new year. It's been such a great year. I hope you guys are all doing well. I love you, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back, happy holidays. I hope you guys have a great weekend, bye.